Hey guys, I'm going to teach y'all how to disassemble and reassemble a um, speed cube. So right here, this is not a Rubik's Cube, this is a Shang Shao Legend speed cube. So yeah, and here's a Kui cube. But I just kind of thought... Yeah, I just kind of thought I'd do this one since I mixed it up. So, let's begin. Right. I really should edit these things out. Okay, so, first part, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this in a 90 degree angle. Like that. Then you're gonna take your thumb, pull. Oh, sorry, mine's just really loose. But for all you people that have them really tight, put your thumb under here, and then you put your thumb under the center piece, and you kind of shake that out, wiggle it out. But mine's really loose. And then you just take the corner piece out. Start taking everything out, and I normally just just start turning it, and the pieces will fall out. Because if you do like that, sometimes you can like um, pull off the um, center pieces. So that's why you're supposed to turn it. So let's get these separated into corner pieces and center pieces. So for, for those who don't know what a center piece is. Um, it's all of these. This is the core. This is a um, edge. If you would call it on a three by three. I'm sorry. I just been putting back together this seven by seven because it popped on me when I was in the middle of the saw last night. I don't remember. Well, this is a corner piece. This is an edge piece, I guess. And so, yeah, let's get those separated. So, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell y'all. What all did I just grab? I grabbed. That was weird. Okay. So, I'm going to tell y'all about the videos that are coming up on my YouTube channel. Well, there's going to be a lot of different videos. There's going to be long solves, like, there's going to be that 7x7 seven seven time lapse saw. Once I put it back together, I probably have to buy a new one because I've never learned. They got no good videos. Plus, this is a, um, MoFang, MF. So, please, someone tell me how to, um, so, that's all that. I use reduction, uh, put that back together because I have no freaking clue. So, yeah, I got all the corner pieces here. There should be... There should be nine corner pieces and I think six center pieces. I mean, not six center pieces, six corner pieces. Let me go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, nine corner pieces and nine edges. So, yeah. Got all of them separated. So now let's get the edge. Just pick up a piece. I'm going to pick up one of these uh, edge. And then it's red and white. So let's look around for the white. And then the red's right here. Then just slide it in. Up, upside down. Like that. So then do that with all your pieces all around this row so I'll get one white and orange so that's on this side <coughs> we'll get another one yellow and red so that's over here get another one no not that one this one so 
Now we have that. Sorry, I lubed it a couple days ago. It's still working. Should have that. So then take one of your corner pieces and look around on the sides. So my corner piece goes there. So I'm going to just pop that in. Your edge probably will kind of fall out, but just put that back in. Okay, so now that we're doing this side, look for the next corner edge piece. That Look for the edge piece that goes upside it. So I'm going to be looking for green and orange. Here it is. So just kind of pull on the cap so it opens up. And then push that in. But see that? One piece popped out. But it's easy to put back in. So you should have around this. <coughs> or something like it. So then we're going to put this corner piece in. It's on... Um, green, orange, and white. So, that's green, orange, and blue. Here it is. Now that's green, orange, and red. What am I talking about? Here it is. Green, orange, and white. So we're going to put that in to the corner piece. So that's right there. And then yellow green, so on the edge piece. So let's look for a yellow and a green. Here it is. Let's put that in. Oh, yeah, and check out my tutorial on how to disassemble um, Shank Shell Pyramids. So, yeah. Oh, put it in upside down. That's one thing you got to be careful for because once you put it upside down, you can take it out, but sometimes it'll collapse. So then, yellow corner. We, we got to put it in a quarter piece right here. So it has to be red, green, and yellow. Let's look. There it is. So just slide it in there. Yeah, there it is. So then let's look for a edge piece that's green and um, red. Here it is. So let's put that in. I need a better 7x7. Seven seven. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, I got that yesterday and it popped on me already. Probably because I loosened the tensions. I like loose big cubes. They're, they're good for me. Okay, let's see. Green and white. We need that next. Like green and white, yeah. Oh, fell back here. No, it didn't. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Green and white. So then we got this corner piece right here. <coughs> if you have a tight cube, do not put this one in. Put the corner piece in, then put this one in. The, the edge piece. But I have a very loose cube, so I can just push it in. 